<laughs> the run and get into the camera. Hello everyone, <laughs> happy Wednesday. We're back with another Realtor Spotlight and we're in a familiar place because we've done a couple lives from here, but not actually talking about this place. So we are with the lovely Stacey Davis. Hello. Say hello to all of our amazing followers <laughs> Thanks here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> um, but Stacy is a realtor here with CRG Companies and is on site here at Living Dunes. If you didn't know, that's where we are. These are gorgeous homes, and we're going to talk a little bit more about them. But first, I want you guys to get to know Stacy because I've known her for years, and I just feel like you're such a lovely person. I would want you to sell all of my homes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. I'll do that for you. I'd be happy to sell all of your. How many do you have? <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to rack them up, but uh, right now. <laughs> Um, so first off, why don't you kind of share a little bit about your real estate journey and what initially attracted you to it? Um, I was doing all of the interior design selections for a community called Seasons, which is a 55 plus community down in Merle's Inlet. Mm -hmm. um, I went there initially to help set up the design center we were going to do a week and six years later oh um, we were sold out and I was done. Um, but probably a couple years in the broker there asked me to get my real estate license. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it at that time. I had young children and the uh, on-site hours didn't work. Right. Um, but once it did make sense, I did go get my real estate license. So probably about the last two years of that project, um, I helped sell it and then also do the interior design. That's awesome. You kind of have a little touch in everything. I did. And yeah. I feel like people appreciate that when you can come in and say, you know, well, this is how we design it this way. Or when you move in, if you lay it out like this, you can kind of help them. It helps. Kind of grow a little it bit helps. More. Having an eye, I think um, balance and scale are everything when it comes to design. And that certainly does help in the real estate world. Yeah, I, I would imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So you've been doing real estate for about seven years, right? Mm -hmm. About seven or eight. Okay. And then you joined the CRG company. I did. Mm -hmm. And you kind of jumped over here with their Living Dunes project, correct? Yeah, when we first started talking, it was nearing the end of uh, the project in Merle's Inlet, and um, there were conversations between the construction company and the developer for this community. So by the time I came on, we were probably about a year to a year and a half out mm -hmm. from actually breaking ground. Um, so I was fortunate. I got to sit in on meetings with um, the land developers. I had um, a little bit of feedback with the plans and... Uh, probably spent that first year with a company working on, as you know, because mm -hmm. we worked together, yeah. on uh, the materials, some of the standards, the upgrade options that we would be um, presenting in the community. Right. Um, but I did a little bit on the custom side, too. I'm sure. And I really feel like that helps people. Like, you're here on site, and you're, you've told them, like, the reasoning why, like, this is a better upgrade if you want it, or maybe this upgrade is not as necess necessary for your lifestyle. You would want to go to this one. You really have a hold on those upgrades yeah I will tell you like I don't do the selections we have a coordinator right. that yeah. really handles that here but it is nice to understand mm -hmm. uh, the practices and the products that we offer um, we're pretty fortunate that the developers have decided they're using the creme de la creme right uh, so you know two by six construction yeah. all of the structural integrity that you would want in a high-end mm -hmm. build we offer here so it's nice to be able to understand that and talk about that with people and really be able to say that when you go up in price, mm -hmm. so upgrade options, it's just because it's an appearance, not necessarily a quality issue. Yeah, um, nice. But it is. It's nice to be able to understand that and be able to talk about that yeah. with folks. Well, I mean, design has to be one of your passions, right? For sure. So... We, as I said, ask for before, like as a hobby <laughs> <laughs> or one that you get paid for to, yeah. you know, help out on the side. So tell me a little bit more about your know, design. Give us some um, tips, maybe, maybe some tips on if you're getting your home ready to, to sell. Yeah. What would really attract someone that's not going to break the bank that even design ways? Because I know as much as people think like, you got to look at the structure. No one looks at the structure and they say, oh, I don't like these drapes. Let's not buy this house. Like that's weird. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> but it yeah. happens. So how can you make your house a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to, say, a, a you know a buyer coming through? Yeah, those are good questions. I would say, I mean, structurally, if you're going to buy something, you need to make sure that it's sound. Yes. That's the most important right. part of structural. Um, and location, location, location. Yeah, so if I'm working with somebody on helping them to purchase, um, and I go walk through and those two mm -hmm. areas nail it, then it's really easy for me to say, okay, we could turn this island, we could create a better flow. I think that's everything. Yeah. People don't put enough weight on the energy of a space, mm -mm. Okay. Um, how you're going to actually live. 
Um, for instance, this, you know, I've looked at a lot of places lately that have like a peninsula and it makes it impossible to get around the island and right. it, it creates like a little bit of trouble when you're trying to entertain with mm -hmm. people. So those are the kind of things that I like to look at mm -hmm. is sort of big picture. How does the flow work? And then, you know, we work our way down to finishes and making sure that you are really balancing out. This is the, the biggest one for me. Trendy items with classic elements. Okay. Um, so, you know, if you're going to do something that's trendy, a backsplash is a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. Pillows, window treatments, right. things that are not so expensive mm -hmm. that in a year or two when it begins to date the space, right. you can't switch it out without spending, you know, a, a ton of money. Yeah. yeah. Like right now the gold has like come out yep. and been oh, like a it's big out. <laughs> thing. And is it like, I always have a hard time mixing yeah. all of that. Um, our builder wanted to do gold pools, but then our... Um, faucets and stuff were a brushed nickel and then there was a little bit of uh, options of wrought iron and it looks beautiful I didn't do the gold pools we end up all with a brushed nickel but it, the different textures like that and the different elements mix but I've never been like I'm always like if you're wearing black you're wearing black if you're wearing right. brown you're wearing brown <laughs> yeah. I have a hard time with mixing all of that but that's definitely a trend now right oh for sure that's something that I think it was very difficult for a lot of people to absorb that trend. Where you go from like the old, very shiny gold, right. and that's what you feel. And yeah. Like, I don't think I could do that. But the good news is, is they've come out with so many different versions. I mean, there's a champagne. There's so many mm -hmm. different ways to do gold, brushed, or shiny. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that the trick is, though, is getting comfortable with mixing your metals. Okay. Um, I'm actually working on a remodel right now, and they are leaning all towards gold. But I keep trying to pull them back just slightly. I'm like, let's put a little bit of black in there, just a matte black, um, so that it stays current longer. Um, because black is definitely coming in way more. Right. And um, I, I just think that's a trick. You mix and you look ahead a little bit in okay. trends. Kind of like you do with your clothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I was say, how do you, where do you go for inspiration to look ahead? Oh, I'm a Pinterest is it girl. Just, oh, are you okay? Oh, I'm a Pinterest girl. <laughs> yeah, when you asked me earlier, like, what's a hobby? And I'm like, Pinterest? Can that be considered a hobby? <laughs> I literally am on Pinterest anytime that I'm not working with a client or, yeah. you know, talking with my kids. Um, Pinterest just does a really good job of capturing new trends and showing how you can infuse, like I said mm -hmm. before, classic elements yeah. so that uh, your home in 10 years still feels in style. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that. All right, everyone get on their Pinterest. <laughs> Make sure your boards are updated. <laughs> it's how watching. I speak to my clients too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So when I'm trying to say, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this edge so I can like, you know, pick stitch it together. Yeah. Here's the edge of, you know, a waterfall edge. Here's the faucet. This is the style of the cabinet that we're looking for, but we want it to be in this finish. So I can just go on Pinterest, screenshot, 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 pick, stitch it together, and send that over like it's a mood board. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the way to go. See, <laughs> you all need to work with someone like her because I always have, like, I mean, I've moved into my new space. I've told her this before. When I moved into my last house, I'm like, Stacey, can you please just come over and just tell me what I'm doing wrong? Like, I don't need a big, but that's the thing is, like, you underestimate those elements. You underestimate, you know, someone that can come in and do that and just pull it all together. And you're like, how does this feel so elegant, but yet so cozy? And I feel like my kids could come in here, right. but still feel like I could have a dinner party and it all be in the same space. It's what I hear from so many people. How... How is it that I go out and I purchase and I come home and none of it ever works together? Um, every time. Do you know how many lamps I've bought? <laughs> returned? I don't know. Anyone that's watching knows my lamp saga. It's like... That's a very normal thing. Don't feel bad. I have new lamps showing up at my doorstep today, <laughs> which I was scared because I like to touch and feel. I'm not a very good online shopper. And so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Send me a picture. I'll be I'll you. You, for sure. Yeah. So design is definitely something you do. So that's awesome. People know, you know, she can come in and I, you know, when you're moving into a new home or even looking at new homes with a realtor that can come with you and mm -hmm. see it and say, oh, we can turn this island. You're like, wait a minute, we're turning an island. Right. How is that even something you can do? Um, so that eye is definitely something that would be a benefit for, for realtors or for a client. I hope so. I think it is. Yeah. So I know that you do mainly on site here, but obviously you mm -hmm. do a little bit of, you know, you can help sell or buy, you know. For sure. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so I still um, have the ability to work uh, in general brokerage. Mm -hmm. Mostly what I'm seeing is family or friends that need help. Um, right. So, as they say, your sphere of influence. Yes. Um, but sometimes in the development, we will have people come in who have a property that they need to sell in order to, to get into one of our homes. Yeah. Um, so we've been fortunate enough to be able to help out um, several great. folks that way. Yeah. So it's, it's nice to know because a lot of times you think that these, you know, a lot of the realtors that sit on property can only use that property. Right. But you guys, you know, luckily work with a great um, group of people that allow you to also yes. help your clients in a full capacity. We which do. Is great. Yeah. Out of respect for the developer. If somebody walks in the door and they're looking for, you know, the size range and the price range right. of what we offer, uh, we, my, my business partner, uh, Catherine and I, we would never take that client and go look no. around town yes. in other properties. We would recommend that out to other mm -hmm. agents in our company um, if it's not a good fit. Right. Um, but if it's more, you know, helping them sell an existing property, right. um, or if it's somebody way outside of here, yeah. yeah, like just completely just wanting to, yeah. you know, look somewhere else in yeah. different areas, neighbors, uncles, cousins, things yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right. So let's talk a little bit about Living Dunes itself. Okay. Um, so if you want to kind of give the specs of the community and kind of what sets you apart, cause there's a, a lot of people are trying to, you know, pop up some of these lifestyle type communities. Sure. What sets Living Dunes apart? Yeah, that's a good question. I would say our close proximity to the ocean, so yes. we're only um, less than half a mile. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a Grand Dunes community, okay. so that's really important to a lot of folks because in our area, what you're really going to see is high traffic mm -hmm. um, and not allowing short-term rentals right. will help to reduce that high traffic. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of folks that come to me and they're in areas, you know, 20 miles south or north of us now. Yes. And what they're realizing is they're ready to start spending a little bit more time in the Myrtle Beach area, maybe they're future pacing for retirement. And the product that they bought was originally intended as an investment. Maybe they bought some, some weeks off for themselves to use it personally. Um, but now that they're starting to spend more time there, they realize everybody's on vacation that lives right next right. to them. So I think what sets us apart is that we have a real residential feel mm -hmm. in a town that's based on tourism and hospitality. Right. Um, and I think the quality of our build is unmatched. I, yes. Yeah, I, there's I, not a single yeah. developer in this area um, that is offering you know the two by six construction. We do a cable rod system that connects the roof down to the foundation. Um, isonine spray foam. I mean, I could go on and on about just our standard spec sheet. Yeah. So location, um, construction quality, and then the development itself. Mm -hmm. The community is really awesome. It is. It's beautiful here. And, you know, you're right here in the middle of town. Yeah. Like, you can take your golf cart to some amazing restaurants, yeah. to the grocery store, to the beach. You really, you know, if you're coming down here to retire here, if you're coming down and just wanting like a, a thing, and then even just having some small kids, like you have the walking trails, you have, and it doesn't feel like when you're here, you don't feel like you're in the center. You don't feel like right. you hear the hustle and bustle of what's going around you, but you're so close to everything. It's pretty unique. I yes. mean, and I say to people all the time, you're just not going to find something like this mm -hmm. anywhere up and down the Grand Strand. And you're right. It's like. People are craving a little salt air yeah. when they come here. They want to be able to get in a golf cart. I hate how often I can ride over to Starbucks yeah. in a golf cart. <laughs> it's like going to be the downfall of me. But folks really love that. The yeah. idea of like tossing their keys on the counter when they get home and um, golf carting over to the Ocean Club or, you know, sitting at the Anchor Inn and having a cocktail as the sun sets. Oh I mean, it's a really special life that these folks. I think that. Like I was thinking going this way, but I mean... There's a ton that way. Yeah. yeah. Like, and then Drift is right there. And I mean, all our new, new favorites for are sure. Just <laughs> opening up. I mean, even the new um, U.S. Foods right. shop yep. know, will kind of be, you know, when you come in, you have these amazing kitchens. You can definitely, you know, purchase stuff from there. So you're right in the center of everything. You are. And the area is so um, fresh and new and up and coming. And so it's lovely to have so many places where we can go and eat healthy food. Yeah. You know, you don't really get that in other parts of the Myrtle mm -hmm. Beach area. Um, so yeah, I, I think, uh, the five miles worth of walking trails, we do have a little putting green. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah. That's so fun. And that's like, I mean, 
what is attracting people to Myrtle Beach right. a lot of times? Ocean and golf. Yep. You, you know, why it. do we want to retire there? Ocean and golf. You got you know, it. Why do we even live there? You know, ocean and golf. And so that is, and then you have the restaurants and you have everything that's like right here. So that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, why don't we show them a little bit uh, about this property or okay. just kind of this model that we're in sure. real quick. And then we can look at the map and then we'll show you a little bit of outside. Okay. Perfect. So I'll tell you, this is a three-story townhome. Mm -hmm. um, we do offer this in a two-story as well. You okay. can just... Um, uh, there's two bedrooms on the top floor, so we eliminate that top floor, and downstairs is a two-car garage. Um, so when we do a two-story, we turn it into a one-car garage, which gives us space to have two bedrooms oh, okay. downstairs. That's fantastic. Um, but this floor basically stays the same, whether mm -hmm. it's two stories or three stories. Okay, so we'll kind of... Yeah. What you haven't seen is this lovely dining area and living space. I mean, and the flow is so nice in here. It's really a great space, and I think what people love the most is the wraparound porch mm -hmm. setup. Um, because you know, you're, when you're in a townhome, you don't have yard, that's common space outside. Right. Um, so to be able to have that wraparound porch, you're still getting plenty of outdoor potential. Um, but people really seem to enjoy being up too. Yeah, I think so too. It gives you a little bit of that like ocean front feel. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, and I can show you this. This will um, help explain the community a little bit. Um, actually, I'll go to this side if that's okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good the stuff. light. Um, okay, so we are in this townhome here, mm -hmm. and we do have, which we can step outside in a minute and I'll show you, but we do have an on site pool, an on site clubhouse. Um, as far as the products that we build, anything on this map that is yellow um, is allocated towards single family. Okay. So I do have a series of homes that offer attached garages. That's going to be a little bit of a, a lesser price point for folks. Um, and then I have a series of detached garages. So between those two series for single families, I think I have about um, 15 different mm -hmm. home styles. Uh, what's great about that is that if ever uh, our owners are in a position where they need to resell, we're still boutique, we're still small, only like 213 homes total. Um, that includes the multifamily product. But we expect that everybody's home will be very special compared to, you know, any of the other homes that could potentially be on the resale market against mm -hmm. them. Um, but we do also have, as we're in right now, a multifamily product. Um, the bungalow product, by the way, right now starts at 415. Um, so the bungalow, the two-story townhome, and the three-story townhome. So we have a really wide array of... Everything. Yeah. Anything anybody really wants. And, I mean, having 15 different models, I mean, you can really pick and choose to yeah. get what you need. Well, that's great because folks can come in and we can ask them three or four questions and right away we know, okay, these are the top three options for you. Mm -hmm. So whether it's size, whether it's price point, um, whether it's, you know, um, master bedroom downstairs mm -hmm. or I need an attached garage or... I need a nice big side yard. So we can look at the map and determine like, okay, this is probably your plan. Let's talk about the home sites that make yeah, sense for you. Show a little bit more of the map. Yeah. I and mean, these nice big lakes, almost every property has a view. It's pretty amazing. And anybody that decides that they don't want to be on the lake, I don't know if you can tell, but these are the um, uh, trails and sidewalks. They meander around the lake. So if somebody opts oh, to cool. be, okay. yeah, isn't it great? Like this is a great bridge. We'll step outside and I'll let you be able to see this whole area right here. Okay. Um, but if somebody decides that they want a little bit more privacy and they want to be on what we refer to as the wall lots, because on Grand Dunes Boulevard and 82nd Avenue, we've built a wall. Mm -hmm. Um, they could walk, you know, five steps from their front porch and they still have that water view. Right, yeah. right. It's beautiful. All right, well, let's step okay. out here. Yeah, so this is the pool. Um, now, this pool is, of course, only for our owners and residents. Okay. Um, it's really fun in the summertime. Right about 4.30 or 5 is when I see most folks come out here. <laughs> They'll all pull their lawn chairs on that um, the tanning deck Are there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the clubhouse, which is gorgeous. The finishes inside are, are mm -hmm. stunning. Um, it's typically used to house, like, you know, stuff for margaritas and of course. <laughs> <laughs> snacks and things like that. Um, but it's really neat to see folks uh, just walking their the dogs. fountain yeah. and, you know, kind of we'll walk down this. You can see the wraparound porch here. Comes all the way around. Yeah, kind of you can areas. see just even this house across the way. Um, this is one of the smaller series with the attached garage. That's actually a Litchfield. 
And um, I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, but they have such an amazing side yard. Yeah, I don't know if anyone see it, but it's they've got like a pergola and like a whole like yeah, entertainment a area. Yeah, kitchen. Yeah. Um, they have a hot tub being delivered soon. Uh, we put in a natural gas um, fire pit for them. That's so nice. Yeah, so just depending, like I said, there's, there's not too many home sites left where they'd be able to have that much like outdoor space. Mm -hmm. um, so if that's something somebody's interested in, I hope that they'll call me. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that ball for them. Um, but we do have um, maybe 50% of our uh, original home sites left. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on, you know, what they're looking for. That's awesome. we can get them in something. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, to wrap up, why don't you let everyone know how they can reach you or where they can reach you, um, all your credentials. Okay. So livingdudes.net, that would be the website that you would go to for the development. So you can see all of our plans. Um, and if you message there, I actually get that, so I can respond to you. Um, you can also email me, so I'm Stacy Davis, S-T-A-C-Y Davis, at crghomes.com, or you can call my cell phone, 843-457-1368. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Thank to you. I lovely Stacy here for showing us all about this and getting letting us get to know you a little bit better and kind of the fun things you guys have going on out here. Thanks for coming out. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Of course, anytime. All right, so we'll see you guys back with another Realtor Spotlight here soon. Have Bye. a great day.